Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to cover a great new innovative technique for managing patients that have Fuchs endothelial dystrophy. Uh, this was recently popularized by Dr. Katherine Colby from the University of Chicago. She's an excellent cornea surgeon and she has just came up with a new technique where Decimase membrane can be removed without placing a graft afterwards to help clear the vision in these patients. Now, first let's think about what we do now for patients that have Fuchs dystrophy, where their cornea becomes cloudy and swollen because the back layers of the cornea aren't working and these back layers are not smooth, so that also causes glare and interferes with vision. Uh, currently, the Decimase membrane is removed from the back of the cornea and then a graft is replaced in this area to help clear the cornea and improve the patient's vision. Instead of removing Decimase membrane and placing a graft, she has come up with the idea of removing Decimase membrane but not placing a graft afterwards. When this happens, it looks like that the other cells on the back of the cornea can then move towards the center to help clear the cornea and do their job which is to pump fluid out of the cornea back into the eye to keep the cornea nice and thin and clear so light can pass through evenly. This is performed only in the central four millimeter zone of the cornea. We say the cornea is usually about 12 millimeters in diameter. So just by removing that central four millimeter zone it leaves a lot of the cornea towards the outside where cells are still there that can migrate. Now if you ever heard about when you buy a pizza, if you get a large pizza or an extra large pizza, you get a better value than a medium pizza because of the size. Now even though the diameter goes up a little bit, the whole area of the pizza gets bigger significantly the larger it gets. Uh, this same effect is working in the opposite direction. When we just remove a smaller central four millimeter zone, we're really not removing a lot of the cornea, so that leaves a good area for this cornea to heal and clear over time. Now it takes longer for the cornea to clear afterwards, it takes longer for the patients to recover, and it didn't work in everyone. So as we learn more about this technique and more surgeons are doing it, we uh, think it may be a great option for them in the future. So, if you have any questions about this great new technique, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.